today we're going to demonstrate how to install flagstone. Flagstone is an ideal construction material. It's durable and looks natural in any landscape. Now the word flagstone does not describe any particular type of stone, but rather the cut. Flagstones are flat pieces of rock, usually one to four inches thick, and they come in a range of materials. In Oklahoma, we most commonly use sandstone and limestone flagstones, but you can also buy slate or granite, though these are gonna be more expensive. Flagstone comes in a variety of shapes and sizes, as well as colors to match just about any landscape. Tammy Crable, our studio garden manager, recently laid a flagstone path here at the studio gardens. Tammy, the path really looks great here. Can you tell us how to get started on a project like this? Sure, and thank you. Well, the reason we put this flagstone down is because the turf in this area is in too much shade, so it wasn't growing very well. Okay. And we wanted a very naturalistic looking pathway through the, between the shade perennial beds. So we chose flagstone and we have a variety of sizes. We have the big slabs and the smaller stones uh, mixed up together. They're not, you know, the big ones aren't all together and the small ones aren't all together. They're alternated through the pathway. When we decided to make the pathway to make it m more naturalistic, uh, you'll see it's not one width all mm -hmm. the way through the path. Uh, there are wider and narrower areas and it curves around the trees. Well, you so, mentioned that the width varies here. What's a recommended width for a uh, pathway? Well, you really want to have it, unless it's just a service area, you should have at least a four foot pathway so people can walk side by side or mm -hmm. pass each other on the pathway. Okay. And how do we begin by laying out our pathway? Well, <laughs> we had a general path where the the turf already was, but you could lay it out using water hoses or mark it with paint so you get an idea of where the pathway is going to go and what it's going to look like when you have it down. And then you want to measure that area and call the stone yard and they'll give you an idea of how many tons of stone you'll need to complete your project. Okay, well once the pathway is laid out it's time to get started. The first thing you need to do is dig your hole. As Tammy said we wanted to replace this poor looking turf, so we went ahead and dug out that turf. Tammy used a sod cutter to remove the turf from the larger area of the pathway. You can also just use a shovel. Now, how deep do we need to dig our hole here, Tammy? Well, it depends. Uh, if you're just going to put sand underneath it, we dug about three inches down, put down about a two inch layer of sand. You could kind of see it under this one that's already here. And then we had about a two inch flagstone uh, on top, so we want just a little bit of the flagstone up at the surface mm -hmm. so that uh, the soil and the mulch don't drain onto it in a heavy rainstorm. Okay. Now if you have poorly drained soils and drainage might be a problem, you can install a layer of gravel under the sand and then you'll want to lay a weed mat or roofer's felt between the gravel and the sand to keep the sand in place. Now while we were digging, I noticed you found some roots here, Tammy. Well, of course we're digging around trees, and if your pathway goes around trees, you want to be careful if you find a lot of roots. Okay. You might want to redirect the pathway. But if there are just a few, you can just cut those out or mm -hmm. dig them out and go ahead with your path. We have our hole dug out, and we're going to start filling it here with sand. Remember, we want about a two to three inch layer of sand across the bottom. We're just going to use a rake to, there we go, so that's good. We're going to level the sand out here to make a nice smooth surface for laying our stones on. Uh, when you're laying a pathway, getting the surface level is not as important as when you're laying a patio. When you're, when you're installing a flagstone patio, you want to make sure that the surface slopes away from the house so that water will drain away from the foundation. Once we get uh, this nice and smooth, Tammy and I can start laying our flagstones. Okay, how's that? That's good good. There. Now with the pathway, the real leveling is going to take place as we're laying our stones. When you're working with stone, you want to make sure to wear gloves and heavy work boots. You want to make sure to lift the stone with your legs, not your back. And some good boots to protect your feet. 
Now, it may take several tries to get the stones in place. Uh, it, it helps if you lay a whole bunch of stones out ahead of time. Uh, you can look at their shapes and get an idea of how they're going to fit together. We actually laid our pattern out before we put it in place here. Uh, don't feel bad if you have to rearrange the stones several times. It happens. Now as you're laying the stones, you want to strive for small spaces between the stones. The, the spacing between them can vary, uh, but the smaller spaces will hold the sand better. This stone is too big, so we're going to have to cut it. You want to get it to fit it in the best that you can and decide what part to cut off. This one fits pretty well like that if we just cut it off right here. So we're going to take a pencil and mark approximately where we want to cut this stone. You want to place your rock uh, on a hard surface with a straight line underneath. Put it no more than about a quarter of an inch beyond the, uh, the rock that you have underneath. And since this is a little bit thick, we're going to mark the other side too. So we'll be more likely to get a straight cut. So I'm showing myself where to make a line on the other side. And as always, you always want to think about safety. Thank so you, wear your safety goggles. And it is incredibly hot out here. <laughs> <laughs> sure so is. think about heat too. You always want to take breaks, drink plenty of water when it's this hot and you're working outside. So we have a couple of ways that we could cut this stone. This is a brick set and it's a chisel. And you just put it along the line and then hit it with your maul and make a line over around on both sides and then tap it with your hammer and hopefully that'll break off in a line. Or you could use a mason's hammer and do the same thing. Basically you just want to chisel along that line all the way across your stone. And we're going to do that on both sides. Be careful if you've got any kind of imperfections underneath because you run the risk of breaking your rock. Once you get a line scored along both sides of the rock, you give it a good whack. Cutting rocks is really not a perfect science, so if you chip a little bit out, that's okay. And it may take more than one, one try. Well, now that we have our stones in place, we need to get them level. This one's a little low, so we're going to lift it and add some sand underneath. Uh, you want to try to get them even with our, we want to get it even with our previous uh, stones here. You can use a level to check that your stones are in fact laying level. This one's pretty close. Looks good. Oh, that's good. Uh, might need a little more sand over here. You really just want to make sure that it butts up pretty evenly with the one in front and behind so that you don't catch your toe and trip on your pathway. Okay. And then after the stones are all leveled, it's time to fill in these spaces. We're going to use sand for that process again. You can use a broom to push some of the sand in between the extra crevices. You just want to get a nice even fill throughout. Okay. Well, that looks pretty good. Tammy, what do we need to do to finish this project up? Well, we're going to take the soil that we dug out here and backfill around the edges okay. so that we have a nice steady base for our uh, stones to, uh, to hold them in and also so our turf will hopefully grow up to the edges. And then we're going to take our mulch and bring it back out to the edges of our stones so it matches the rest of the pathway. Okay. Now, the sand in these crevices is going to settle over time, is that correct? Yes. And we could use some water right. to help it settle? We could water it in, well, we should water it in right now, mm -hmm. let it settle in, and then bring some more sand on so it'll settle in as much as we can. But over time, we've had a pretty good rain last weekend, yeah. and you can see that it's settled even more. 
So over the first few weeks, you want to go ahead and check and make sure things haven't settled. They're not off level, okay. so you can lift them up, fill underneath them, and then refill the, the cracks in between. Wonderful. Well, your path looks beautiful. Thank you very much for helping me today. Thank you. Thank you.